Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tell Me Why, the program for American Airlines team members looks at the why behind the news, information, everything that happens here at the airline. My name is Ron DeFeo. I work in the Global Engagement Group. And today, Evie Garces, VP Line Maintenance, first time on the show. Yeah, totally excited. You're fired up about I this. I am excited. I, it's, it's, it's fabulous to have you here. We should have had you on earlier, so our, our fall on that. But perfect timing here because summer's right around the corner. We'll get to that uh, in a minute. But you moved into your role at the end of last summer, right? VP yes. Line Maintenance. Talk a little bit uh, to, to our, our, our team about there about you know, the role you do and the role your team does every day here at American. Yeah, no, thanks, Ron. And I am so excited to be here, not only to represent tech ops, but all the important work that we do as an organization. So line maintenance yeah. uh, comprises about 6,000 aircraft maintenance technicians. Oh, and wow. our purpose uh, is to make sure that we support the daily operations. So supporting aircraft, ensuring that they're airworthy, departing, um, and arriving throughout our system. Uh, we have over 30 locations uh, that we do maintenance in 24 seven around the clock. So line maintenance is part of a bigger organization, Tech Ops, which I think most people are familiar with. And Tech Ops comprises of many departments. Uh, one particular department is our base uh, maintenance organization. Um, so base maintenance comprises of four maintenance facilities across the, across the U.S., right. and they focus on heavier maintenance, um, for example, heavy checks sure. and uh, engine overhaul. So aside our base maintenance organization, we have uh, many aviation professionals that help support safety in our organization. Uh, we have maintenance planning, supply chain, engineering, uh, to mention a few, and, and you can actually find them all in the hangar. Uh, on top of that, yeah, on top of it, um, we ensure our facility and our ground service equipment um, is serviceable. We yes. have experts that maintain our equipment, ensuring that we keep the operation moving. No, oh, that's great. And I started the, the show this summer's around the corner. It we is. had Julie Rath on. She's getting fired up about the summer. Um, tell me why you feel great from a tech ops you know, point of view about the summer to come. Yeah, so uh, we play a critical role in our summer operation. Uh, this year, we're increasing our mainline flying compared mm -hmm. to last year. Um, and there are several things that we need to make sure we get it right, right out of the gate. Um, first of all, we need to make sure that we are staffed to support the summer operations. So we are hiring over 500 mechanics. They're in the process of onboarding right wow. now uh, to ensure that we can support our aircraft. Uh, we've also opened the Central Fulfillment Center here in Dallas. Uh, to help store additional aircraft parts, but most importantly, distribute parts across the world to support our aviation maintenance activity. And one item that I am particularly excited about is iPads. So our line maintenance mechanics are being issued iPads. We expect to have it all done uh, before we start the summer operation. Awesome. And the way an iPad helps our frontline mechanics is that it allows us to get quick access to our maintenance manual systems, our software, so that we can expedite repair to aircraft. Um, we are laser focused to ensuring that we have our operation running well. Um, one of the things that we focused on is we actually, as a leadership team, are out in the operation. So for the past several weeks, uh, my leadership team, uh, my counterparts have been out on the operation, ensuring that everyone in the front line understands the importance of summer readiness. That's great. Um, but also understand how their role contributes to profitability, uh, reliability, and accountability. And we're seeing that because we just wrapped up the spring break. And Tech Ops did a great job supporting the operation. Oh, that's great. And I know one of the things you guys are focused on, obviously, goes without saying, but aircraft out of service, hitting those those targets, a lot goes into that. Share a little bit about you know AOS and and your focus there. Yeah. So um, it is critical to have um, low aircraft out of service, and that's what AOS stands for, uh, to ensure that we have a reliable operation. Um, our Tech Ops team is laser focused on it, and we're seeing the results. Uh, so far this year, we're making goal, and year to date, uh, it's the best year since merger. That's great. Um, so um, we are focused uh, to ensure that the number doesn't get too high um, and that we recover uh, the AOS pretty quickly so that we minimize the impact on cancellations. And just recently, we celebrated six consecutive days of no cancellations driven by maintenance. That's so great. the guys are, they're killing it. No, that's awesome. And then last question, switching topics a little bit. You know, we spent a lot of time, right, but the future of the industry. And we talk a lot, and rightfully so, about you know pilots and recruiting in the next generation. We need to do the same thing, um, you know, on the aircraft maintenance side. I know you guys are out and about talking to schools, organizations. 
Yeah. What does that look like recruiting that next generation in? Yeah. So I, this is one of the items that I am really passionate mm-hmm. about. I think most people know that I started as an aircraft mechanic in this company. Yep. Um, we have partnered up with several schools. One school recently, uh, the Aviation Institute of Maintenance. Uh, we made an aircraft donation. Right. Uh, we are fully engaged with the school. And it's nice to see that the, the, the fruit of our labor, right? So not only engaging with the students, engaging with the, the schools, um, allowing them to come into a lucrative career nice. um, and us being on site to make sure that they're coming on to American Airlines. But one of the things that I am really excited about, I mentioned we're hiring over 500 mechanics, is that we're seeing a lot more women come into the industry. That's great. Um, and we are focused to ensure that they're successful. So within Tech Ops, we have a, a Tech Ops leadership session that we do quarterly for our females. Uh, last year, we launched two events called FACES, stands for Female AMTs Empowering um, and Connecting Seminar. That's great. And we are focused on making sure we bring the frontline uh, mechanics uh, for engaging activities here in headquarters. Mm. Uh, we support women in aviation and offer multiple scholarships. And uh, one of the things that I am very excited about is that we support Girls Days in Aviation, right, in our hangars to ensure that we continue the pipeline into our industry. That's awesome. Thanks for being here. This was great. Wide ranging, summer, the future, everything. Yeah, we're ready for summer. That's awesome. Well, thanks for being here. Thank you. And thank you for watching. Tell me why. You know where we live. We're on JetNet. That's probably where you're watching us if you are. You can also download us on the go in podcast form wherever you get your podcasts, be it Apple, SoundCloud, what have you. Quick note for American Airlines team members, as always, if you have something you want to hear about, know about, learn about, please drop us a note on JetNet. We will look to get an expert like Evie on the program to tell you all about it. Thanks again. See you on the next episode of Tell Me Why.